vehicle crashed into a tree and the male driver uh, fled the scene. Hey, he's wearing a blue jacket that says LA, LA you know, like the, the LA back. Dodgers, big letters, LA. Okay. And he's a Mexican guy, he's got a shaved head. Who's the guy with the uh, LA jacket on that I just saw back here? 1932, I'll be out with the suspect. What was that? Excuse me, suspect what? Suspect what? Yeah, you excuse me, suspect what? You just... What you mean, suspect? Did you crash your car down here? No, sir, I did not. I got a witness that did see you. I don't know what you're talking about. My knee's kind of hurting, sir. Why is your knee hurting? I, I heard it earlier today. Did you hurt it when you crashed the car down here? No, sir. And uh, I would say it's not drivable any longer. And then you saw him climb out and of the car? And then I saw him climb directly out of the window. Okay. And stumble over here, kind of, and pull up his pants and then walk out across the street and walk down the street. Girlfriend, the girlfriend is uh, out right now trying to drive off with the boyfriend's truck and he's trying to stop her. So we're gonna pull up here and uh, we got another unit out already and find out uh, what the situation is between these two. She goes, well, let me stay with you one more night. I says, no, Debbie, it's over, we're done. We'll be friends, that's it. She goes, no, I'm taking your truck. I said, Debbie, if you take my truck, I'm gonna call 911. I can't believe that he would call the police on me. It really shocks me. Well, apparently you were taking his truck. Thanks a lot, Jay. I'll tell you what, you're going down too then. Oh yeah, you're going down too. Five years and then some. I'm gonna like press charges on my, my incidents. You did it to me and you know it. Got about uh, nine thousand dollars in warrants. She's got one. Uh, what? 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 what, what, what? I got, got one for trespass, can... and then she's got one for ba battery uh, DD and then uh, harassment. I'll tell you what, I would never hurt you. Hey, Debbie. What did I do? Zip it. Well, if it didn't work out the first time, why'd you come back? I don't know. My mom wants to hit my ass. Your mom wants to beat you up too. And everybody else too. No, Debbie, you got a problem. You got to just like get over him. And I'm like, I can't. I love him. I thought I'd really love him. It's about 33 or 4. Why are you driving so fast? Going to my place right here. Step by here a second. I don't have nothing at all. Okay. That's my shit. What's in that? Just my handkerchief. All right. I got stuff on my nose. Oh, wait. <laughs> What happened? Give me your hand. What is that? I don't know. Yeah. You got more crack on you? No, sir. That's all you got? Yeah, I don't even do it. Just, uh, don't you don't do it? I don't know how it got on me, yeah. You don't know how it got on you? Nope. Yeah, some uh, girl gave that to me. Get it. She put it in my nappy. Yeah. Usually somebody doesn't have that much that amount of crack on for their personal use. That's yeah, I don't even crack. use it. I okay, well, you don't, don't use it. it so why, wh why do you have that amount I don't know. I don't even know how it got in my pocket. This guy's going to be going to jail. He thought he was uh, being cute. Once call between uh, the male caller and his ex-girlfriend, he stated that she broke into his apartment. He's breaking everything. Have a seat. Have a seat. I'm What's going on? He broke everything. Look, he broke Have a seat. Talk to my partner. I'm serious. What's going on? What the? She defecated on the floor throwing everything. What's wrong with her? Over here now. She got restraining on. I know I'm not, sir. I'm not doing nothing wrong. I'm just scared to get my stuff. Oh, Cliff, you're a liar. He's a liar. So he's hit you. I'm just scared to get my stuff out of here. I said, if you want to make arrangements to come get some stuff, I'll call the police. But if they come, then we can come get some stuff. No, I'm coming. I'm coming in anyway. She climbed through the window. I told her to stop because I was on the phone with the operator at the time. I told her to stop. She came over here. You needed to call us to go stand by to get your items. You okay, well, can you do that now? I just want no. to get my items. You're going to go to jail now. Okay? Why? You violated the order. I'm not going anywhere. I want all my stuff, blah, blah, blah. Call me the usual racial epithets and so forth. I said, well, you know what, time? They're going to be here in a minute anyway. I don't give a damn. Then she started throwing more stuff around. I'm going to move out with eight sister. Fine, you can move out, but you can't be here right. because you got a restraining order. I said, if they show up and you're outside, it's fine. And they'll let you get some stuff and you'll be on your way. Now! So Tanya here is going to go to jail tonight. She's going to go for violating the domestic violence no contact order, residential burglary for uh, breaking into her ex-boyfriend's apartment. Where is your license? 
Everything is in the bar. I just I just came to for my sister because she left the bar. How much have you had to drink? Two life? drinks. Two drinks. I'm not gonna lie. I just like I said, came out of DAF. I've been out for two weeks. Okay. Straight as an arrow. What is that? What is what are those pills doing? I don't know. Get away from me. Oh, come on. No, no, no. That's seriously. right where you were standing. No, 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 you think no. we ran over there? No, no I'm serious about it. Don't run on mine. My tire is right there. I would have ran that over. That is you. Okay. What is it? Um, they're illegal drugs. No, the same thing. And, and they weren't mine. They are what you're going to jail for. I don't know what they are. I swear on my daughter's life, I don't know what they are. For all I know, they could be not heroin compact. You know what I'm saying? I really don't know. They could be ecstasy. They could be anything. I don't know. 8981. Rosie, how you doing? I'm not Rosie. You have an ID with you? You don't? Okay, put your hands behind your back, folks. Put your hands behind your back. Yeah, I'm inside the... Stop. Why are you doing Stop. that? Let me go! Let me go! I'm trying to get rid of some. No, I'm not. I was trying to get rid of you. Obviously, you fail. You're a tough girl, let me tell you that. I try to be. That's, that's where I go, right there. Transportation for sales and a possession of uh, methamphetamine. Hey, Rosie, that's you, right? Isn't that you right there? Yeah. We go uh, back, one of our uh, deputies down here on a traffic stop. Okay, nothing legal on you, sir? No, uh -uh. All right. Nothing stuff in your bra or anything no, like that? No, uh -uh. You, well, you're wearing no. a bra, right? No. Oh, okay. All right. The reason we're talking right now is because uh, you're, you're lying about your name and date of birth. Okay? Yeah, you are. Okay. I guess I'm going to jail because that's my name. All right, sir, turn around. Hey, can you at least get me not where this is? No. Please? Which one's running back, sir? You tell us the truth and we can avoid all this. You're not 6'3", you're not 230 pounds, you're not that guy in that photo. I need you to be honest with me. What is your real name? Let me put some clothes on, I'll tell you everything. You have my word that we will give you your clothes. Before we go in the car, right? Absolutely. You might not even be going to jail. Let me ask you this, why would you lie about your name? What are you guys doing? I don't have an What's your name? Angela. How do you spell that? A-N-G-E-L-A. Well, I like your real name because obviously you're giving me a fake name. You couldn't even spell Angela. Look at me. Open your mouth. Lift up the tongue. Okay. So you're going to give me your real name now? Yes. What's your real name? Tamara. Tamara. Holy cow. Crack pipe collection, yep. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. She saves her crack pipes. Why is there like uh, 30 crack pipes in this little... You gotta ask her, I don't okay, know. So you're saying none of this stuff in your car is yours? It's your car, right? Yes, but no. I, I mean, there must be. Okay, so all of them crack pipes aren't yours? No. Okay. Because I've never yeah, seen it before. I, you've never seen it before. I've never you seen it. You brought it with us. And, and I am not lying. Those are There's yours. There's not one between your legs? No. Right now? No. Is there something hidden? No. That's the thing. No. And that's what makes you me so You told me much. that's where you put it. Then that must be yours. This is There's when you no need to come off. Okay. Okay. I do have something? it. Yeah. So you, 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 do, you do have something in your yes. private area? Yes. I do. Okay. Give it to the deputy. There you go. Okay. Oh, is there anything else in there? Check the end, make sure we got it. Other hand, other hand. Other hand, yeah, there's residue all in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you guys are not friends anymore after tonight? He would be a BMA, 26 years of age, black hair with all black clothing. He's also wearing a black hat. And it wasn't on yourself? I didn't have no gun. No, I didn't say anything. Do you have anything on you now? No. Okay. I just want to, I would just want to clarify that. I didn't have no gun. Where did you find all the credit cards? When I was walking right there. So you found the credit, but there's not going to be a robbery over there, and you found credit cards and stuff. And well, it was on the floor. I picked it up. If you see credit cards on the floor, you pick it up, too. What exactly happened? I don't speak English very good. Okay. He was asking her for a purse, and he pointed a gun at her. He took what he wanted, mostly credit cards and the IDs, out of the uh, wallet from the purse. Dissed everything that he didn't want.
That's when I got the call, swung around to the edge of the building. Just told him, hey, dude, you want to stop for a second? That's where he started juking. He started running, that's why I started chasing after him. Both victims 100% identified you as the suspect, okay? Three, we have another pilot. Uh, three, okay? And they saw a gun, they saw you shoot, you hold the gun to their, uh, to their person, all right? And then the, the security guard saw you fire the gun. And you have the female victim's credit cards in your possession, hiding in the bushes near the crime. Yeah. Security guard's actually doing a pretty good job keeping up with yeah, him. Yeah, he is, he is. There he is, reaching in his pants. Yep. So he pulls out the gun Ooh. and shoots, to see the muzzle flash. Yeah. And, uh, wow, he turns and fires. I mean, he just missed him. I mean, he tried to kill this guy, there's no doubt about it. There's an overwhelming amount of evidence. A few weeks, a few nights ago, oh, okay. Okay. one of our businesses here got broken into. Yes, sir. And I'll try to for challenge. you happen to have some of the merchandise from that business right, right, in your car. Some of the items stolen were work belts, tactical work belts, and that's exactly what we have here. It's even got their uh, name on the box. And I've never committed a crime in my life. You're on probation? Yeah. How'd you get on probation? Uh, you volunteer for it? Volunteer. You volunteered to do 12 years probation? Yes, sir. For burglary? Yep. Okay. And I'm supposed to believe that? Well, maybe you'll go ahead and voluntarily uh, admit that you stole this stuff. We're going to be uh, arriving. A gentleman broke into somebody's house and called the owner of the home. Said he's waiting inside for her to arrive with a, uh, he's got a shotgun and he's waiting for her to come home, so. He has, he broke in a window up by, there's an apartment above the garage. Uh -huh. And he called me from the phone, which is also a line in the house. Right. And then when he saw you guys coming, he left. Is Will home? What did I do? Uh -huh. Oh. You were in her house. Let's her start with that. Her window was open. It I, doesn't matter. Okay, oh you went over. You went over to the house. Fuck. You called her from her house phone, told her that you're in waiting in her home with a shotgun. I was there. I sat out there for her house for about half an hour, and then I saw her window. Was you know, we, you know what inside. we call that? We call that stalking. Do you, do you even own a shotgun? Huh? Do you even own a shotgun? Yeah, but they're not in my house. Where are they at? They're at my dad's house in North Carolina. <laughs> so did you tell her you had one today? Yeah, I did. You did just try and scare her, or what? Yeah, pretty much. It was stupid. That looks like a stolen, occupied stolen vehicle out of uh, Nevada here. Whose vehicle is this? Julie. Julie? And she said you can borrow it? Yeah, she said I, I had to bring it back later on tonight. And how long has she had this car for? Um, mm, let me see. I think she got it a couple weeks back. This vehicle was taken overnight from a casino from a person named Devin. You were this car stolen? <gasps> one more question if you were a cop looking yes. at this whole per this whole thing uh -huh. from my perspective yeah what would you think I would think I would think let 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 the girl go take the car back and get the girl that originally stole it